Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module 6 of second grade. Name goes here. And shade in an array with three rows of two. So three rows of two. So I need three rows. So one of the ways you can do this is to say, okay, I need three rows. So there's going to be a row, that's going to be a row, and that's going to be a row. And I need two in each row. So that's like that. Another way to think of it is just to keep your rows and columns straight. So there's another way to think of it is that I need one row of two. Make your first row of two and then keep making rows until you have three. So two different ways of thinking to, uh, to approach making rows and, and making sure you're making rows instead of columns. Usually, if you make a mistake, it's going to be you're making uh, you're making rows instead of columns. It doesn't happen that often that you make columns instead of rows. Or you see three rows of two, you might end up making two rows of three, which would be the same mistake as making columns instead of rows. But that's kind of usually how what happens in your brain. Uh, now, a repeated addition equation for the array. We're talking about three groups, right? Instead of rows, think groups. So it's three groups of two, so that's three twos. Two plus two plus two equals six. Now, you could also write three plus three equals six because it doesn't say that you have to use this, but that's the way I, that's the way usually you will think of it is it's given to you as three rows of two, three groups of two. So the rows are your groups. Um, this is the one that I would be looking for if I were your teacher, but I would also take three plus three equals six because it, it would describe the same array. Shade in an array with two rows of four. So there's one row, that's two rows, and now I need four in each row. Write a repeated addition equation for the array. Now I'm looking for two groups of four, so that's two fours. But you could have also written uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. Shade array with four columns of 5. So if I need four columns, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's where my columns are going to start. And now I need 5 in each column. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're going to go that far down. And then I can just take the whole thing and fill in the whole rectangle at once. There. Repeated addition. It's telling me I'm looking for four fives. But you could also have five fours and it would still come out to 20. Draw one more column of two to make an array. All right, so I need another column, not another row. There. Repeated addition equation for the new array. Well, since I added a column, I'm going to write repeated addition that looks that adds columns instead of rows. Because you could have two fours, and that would be the rows. But since it add, told me that I'm thinking column because it asked for a new column. So I'm going to write four twos. One more row of three, and, and then one more column. So here's a row another row of three, and then one more column, which now this column will have three in it because there's that other row, and a repeated addition equation for the new array. Well, we added a row and we added a column, so it really doesn't matter what we do here. I'm going to look at the columns. So that's... Um, one, two, three, that's four threes. But if you'd rather add fours, you can have three fours instead for adding the rows. But either way, it's going to come out to 12. Draw one more row and then two more columns to make a new array. Now, this is where you start. You really have to think about rows and columns and make sure. Just take your time. One more row. So rows go sideways. So there's one by one more row. And then two more columns, and columns go up and down. So I need another column here, and another column there. 
there and let me see if I can clean up this top line a little bit and make it look a little bit more like a rectangle I'm terrible at drawing straight lines I don't know how good everyone else is at it but I just I seem to have a hard time with it and that's about as good as I can get it sometimes if I just slow down a little bit it comes out better and sometimes I still have to go back and fix a little bit of it Write a repeated addition equation for the new array. So I can look at rows or columns here, and I have one, two, three, four, five, five in a column, and uh, four in a row. Fives are easier to add than fours because you can count by fives, but not a lot of us are good in second grade at counting by fours. So I'm going to add fives instead. And I have one, two, three, four of those. So five plus five plus five plus five. And that's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. And so that's a tip that will help you for a lot of things. If, you're, if you have a choice, think about 2s, 5s, and 10s because those are the numbers, right, that we can, they're really easy. You've been practicing counting by 2s, 5s, and 10s, and of course 1s. Um, if you have a choice, use those because it's always going to be easier to repeated addition to count by twos, count by fives, count by tens.